right guys so we are going to be starting to paint some automotive surfaces and i brought out everything that i've bought over the last couple of weeks in order to do so so we're going to start from the left and go on to the right and i'm shortly and simply going to explain to you why all these parts are very critical ensuring a proper paint job to your vehicle's finish so the first thing you guys want to get a good quality respirator this one we have is from 3m with brand new replaceable air filters these are very good and you will definitely need this especially if you're painting indoors in a not ventilated area now also make sure you protect your skin so gloves long sleeve clothing glasses are essential now the next thing you want to do is get yourself some sandpaper here we got a little kit with a variety of sandpapers that we will use in order to sand uh, and sand the primer then sand the clear coat and whatnot so these this is a nice little kit that gives you quite a bit of uh, variation here also scotch bright pads now, these are actually from the kitchen section a lot of people use um, the gray ones and the maroon ones or the red ones but i looked at the grit the coarseness of all of them and these were very comparable to the automotive ones i might be wrong on this but i might be right i'll show you guys a video right now of what i'm talking about as far as the automotive scotch bright pads but you will need all this sandpaper and the scuff pads to scuffing up the surface so it's ready for paint and once you do scuff up these areas you want to make sure you clean it with a proper grease and wax remover and make sure you guys use shop towels to wipe and clean you don't want anything leaving down lint static dirt and debris on whatever you just finished cleaning this is very important and i've seen a lot of people use different things as far as wax and grease remover is concerned i've even seen people say they can use windex or isopropyl alcohol mixture to clean that area off we're gonna play it safe and we're just gonna go with the real deal high quality parts right before you're ready to paint you definitely want to get yourself some tack cloths tack cloths are pretty much like medical gauze but they have an adhesive on them some kind of coating that attracts dirt dust static if there's overspray this will pick up the overspray and it reduces static so this is pretty much your final step after you've done the sanding and the cleaning you want to make sure you tack cloth it and then we are finally ready to paint so first we got the rust-oleum paints right over here this is going to be a single stage paint we got the primer and we got the sun burst yellow gloss one of my favorite colors now we're going to have to dilute this paint with a thinner and this is called a solvent so we got two thinners right here and these are the two most popular ones that people are going to want to use you got the odorless mineral spirits or the acetone i'm still debating on which one i'm going to use with this paint i have to do a little bit more research but both will work and to make sure you're getting the right ratio of paint you want to get yourself a mixing cup these cups are great because they have all the mixing ratios laid out to you already so all you have to do is pour but pour you want to pour through these little things called paint strainers paint strainers are very important and it's a protective barrier between your paint job and any dirt and debris that might be able to get through there and the paint is going to lay down just right if you have a decent quality gun with a nice setup here we have a pressure regulator to make sure we're spraying right around 28 to 30 psi at all times we got an oil and water moisture separator to make sure none of that is going to contaminate our paint when we spray and to power this beautiful gun that was only about 15 dollars we're going to be using a air compressor this is a two horsepower eight gallon compressor it's got some stats here that i reviewed on my last video but that should be able to power this gun for the bumpers that we are going to be painting just make sure you guys use a nice quality hose because you will be doing a lot of walking around the bumpers and the car so those things are a necessity guys so let me step back here just so you guys can see what we're dealing with here all right guys so all these parts were pretty much gotten from the local parts store or i ordered them online so a lot of links to all this will be in the description below if you are interested in picking up 
any of these products. Check out the links. They're decent uh, quality products. I did some research. And uh, yeah, this is going to be the last video I give out to you guys with general information. The next video we are starting to paint. So stay tuned. Smash that like button. Subscribe to keep going with the journey. I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along